Hello friends, this is Akshay. Welcome to Technologic. Today we will discuss about the distributed shared variables. And uh, there are two types of distributed shared variables. One is read only, so that is called the broadcast variable. And second is, uh, this is actually the broadcast variable is mostly used for uh, the data lookup. And the second is write only, so that is mostly used for the counter, so that is called the uh, accumulator. So, um, let's start today's topic um, and please watch till the end. So, first thing we need to know why the uh, any shared variable is needed. So, because you have like normally when you pass any uh, function for the Spark execution, then uh, the variables used uh, within it in the function is each uh, like the first the function is actually executed on the remote worker node so there are the separate executors and the variables used in that function is actually having a separate copy in each of these uh, worker nodes and the any update on these variables is actually not been propagated to the driver program which actually called the uh, uh, like execute the spark function so this is the like problem of having any normal variable so spark resolved this problem using two shared variables one is called the broadcast and second is called the accumulator so now what broadcast variable so for broadcast variable it's a read only variable and you know that it's not shipped with the task to each worker node it's actually cached in each worker node and it's you it use the spark driver program use a very efficient way to cache a very large data set for like all worker nodes. So now we need to know like there are some operations there are some, uh, in, in Spark where you know like we need to have uh, the data shared among uh, between the nodes like you are doing like an aggregation. So uh, for all nodes having the separate copy having working on the separate partition of the data set so how can they use it so then in case of shuffle spark actually broadcasts the common data set to the task for each stage and the data broadcasted in this way is actually uh, in the you can say you can say the serialized form and is deserialized when it is uh, before running the actual task so now when the broadcast variable is required so you need to write the explicit broadcast variable when you need to have the same data for multiple stages of the task and the deserialized form of the data to be cached so if you have these two requirement then you need to use the broadcast variable now how can you use the broadcast variable first thing you can call have like read the broadcast variable value using the value method and second thing is like you have now used the broadcast variable in your worker node or the executor node now you want to like uh, release the resources upon which the broadcast variable is actually cached so you can use the unpersist method and so then the resource will be reuse, uh, released but the broadcast variable can be called again and then it will use the new resources but if you completely release resources 
and do not want the broadcast broadcast variable to be used again then you need to use the uh, destroy method now mm, we will check all these things using an example in databricks and uh, let's talk about the accumulator as well so accumulator you see the broadcast is the read only you cannot write back anything to the broadcast variable the counterpart of the broadcast variable is the accumulator so accumulator is used for counter or for some operations across the nodes so it's a write only shared variable so you cannot read only the driver program can read the value of the accumulator variable using the value method and accumulator when um, you can have two types of accumulator one is named accumulator and second is unnamed accumulator so if you use the named accumulator the benefit is you can track the accumulator value in the spark ui but this is only for the scala program it cannot be checked in the python it's not yet uh, implemented there and so if you have like uh, increase or update the accumulator value then you need to use the uh, or like add operator or plus equal to operator and um, accumulator are of the integer type only so if you want to use any other type like you want to you create your own type custom type accumulator then you need to do that by subclassing the accumulator param and secondly the accumulator is only called and updated within the action but if you call the accumulator in any lazy transformation like map then you cannot guarantee the update of the accumulator variable so let's see all these things in a uh, databricks example thank you so much for watching this session uh, today we will close this session at this point um, please let me know your feedback by like comment and please do share with your friends thank you so much bye bye